So I'm James Taylor, um, and this is uh, these are ten minute interviews with five questions. Uh, with us here is Josh Morrison, who is the operations manager at Flickr Alley, uh, which is a silent film um, kind of like delivery service. Am I getting that right? Publishing company. Publishing company. Okay, even better. Sorry about that. Um, so, and Josh also uh, has been very nice to lend his uh, writing. He also has a lot of experience in theater and writing and has been nice enough to lend his experience to the special committee project to do senator write-ups um, that go to, well, that are used to, for creating the cards. So I guess that's where we'll begin. Um, Josh, it's fantastic to have you here. Um, can you briefly describe the process and the write-ups that go into making a senator politician card? Yes, I can. Uh, I would say the first thing that is involved is uh, trying to find a politician. Hmm. Uh, and uh, that in any way a conversation with you that we want to hit this one person um, it could be looking through all the United States senators and um, picking one that uh, uh, either seems interesting to me through the little bit I know of them or, uh, or I feel that they could serve the game in some way. And, uh, and so after picking someone, um, I would then uh, try and look into them in a... Uh, in the, in a I can in the limited time that we have. So I, I what I tried to do was not uh, not give sort of a book report, but mm -hmm. rather uh, rather delve into the what I gleaned to be the characters mm -hmm. be, uh, behind these uh, senators, which can be difficult to do because they have a lot of they have a lot of uh, PR behind. Them. Right. So, yeah. You have to kind of go behind uh, their Wikipedia page or behind their uh, their uh, their website. Every senator and, and representative has a website, mm -hmm. and uh, and I do look at those, but I also try and look New York Times archives and things like that to find little little tidbits about them um, that might tip off uh, something that. Um, would be a sort of key into their character. Interesting. Uh, and then after that, um, the, the process goes on because, of course, when I do a whole write-up, uh, which involves talking about their their stance, that we would see them on the card, what's in the background, some props, and then I give that to you and the illustrator, Jason, and we have a, a little chat. We, we used to do them weekly. <laughs> we would talk about what's working with Jason's illustration, what could be better with the description, things like that. And over time, it would change and evolve into, into the cards you, you see in the Kickstarter. Yeah, so you've actually done um, more Senator cards than anybody else, I think. More completed Senator cards than anybody else. I mean, you and I have both done the right of things. You probably go deeper because I usually find myself kind of rushed, so I will glean tidbits, but I don't go dig as deep as you do. So um, that's really nice to kind of um, get a peek into how, how, you, how you go about it. <clears throat> so what would you say are some of the real challenges in doing a good write-up for a politician card? Real challenges? Um, I would say uh, that... Um, think. I would say that one of the challenges is getting past the public perception of somebody. Uh, we're just wrestling with that in a way, especially with really well-known people like mm. a, a Bernie Sanders or a Hillary Clinton up in, in how the public views them and, and how I view them as a person. Trying a little bit beyond that, or try and and uh, see how that public perception uh, 
uh, sort of mixes with who they are, hmm. and uh, and I found I personally found that a little difficult. Um, I I wanted to not just portray someone that everyone uh, knew necessarily, but rather who they were, um, which might be right or wrong, um, but. Um, I, yeah, that was my goal, and uh, and I think that that was that was a, uh, a, a something that came up. Yeah, yeah, I remember we went through this thing for a while um, where we weren't allowing ourselves to represent the politicians in their kind of like suits or like the things that they would wear to work. We would try to find outfits that were sort of like outside of their sort of um, political persona, like whatever they do in their leisure time to try to find the character that's behind all of that. And I thought that was perfectly representative of how we were trying to get at the personality rather than at the, uh, the PR kind of representation of a person. Um, yeah, it is tricky, and it and and just playing off of what you said, it has been so hard to keep our personal politics kind of out of the question. I mean, some of these, um, you know, people, I'm kind of tearing my hair out, and um, but we kind of all agreed that we're just going to, you know, put down a couple of hopefully, you know, neutral facts about each politician. Um, so with the ones that we haven't like loved as people, it's it can be hard to like try to highlight something that they did that's sort of like you know positive in our view you know it's like yeah i'm sure you've run into that too where you're like hmm well i hate the first five things <laughs> that they did um but maybe i can talk about their education or their environment stance like let's see if we can find something positive in there um and I, that's, that's been a fun exercise too uh, so Josh, uh, moving, we're moving right along at kind of a healthy clip here. Um, if you, you, so I know that you collect uh, many types of media, I mean, probably books and records, maybe podcasts, so that's not, although that's not something you really collect, um, but not necessarily board games. And so I'm genuinely curious, why is that? What is sort of your relationship to board games? Um, well, yeah, I, I mean, I do things um, I, I and I have an unhealthy relationship with podcasts uh, but uh, I think with uh, with board games specifically I think my favorite board games and maybe why uh, do like, like about special committee is like I kind of like just card games um, mm. like I, I really like gin rummy um, and uh, and I, I like games that very easily lend themselves to social interaction. Uh, right. Where our game eventually becomes the background, uh, or really quickly becomes the background. Right. And uh, and it becomes something you do while you're while you're talking to your friend. Um, and it may be a little healthy competition, uh, but uh, so I I like hmm. I like. I, yeah, I, I think I like really simple card games. Um, uh, so I think that's the main reason I don't collect board games. You know, that's so interesting. I've run into that problem. Oh, your mm -hmm. audio might have cut out for just a second. Um, but I got most of it. So the, I have had this experience where I have people over to play board games and it kind of, it's you know, it might be a game that's kind of heavy and kind of difficult and kind of gets in the way of social interaction. So it's really special mm -hmm. to find games that allow, you know, plenty of, you know, chat and, um, you know, and, and almost like they are there when the conversation hits a lull and you can kind of like do a turn or something and then, you know, somebody else will spark something up. Is that the type of game that, that you tend to enjoy? Yeah, exactly. Like, like I'm not that good at poker, but I like nothing more than a good old poker night just because I like mm -hmm. hanging out with with dudes, um, and uh, <laughs> um, and I like 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 kind of like putting on that that the role play of poker where it's kind of you know, a little bit of like trash talking and, and you know like I, I find that fun more fun than the actual game of poker right uh, and um, and and yeah and and it is the the few times that I've played tested 
the you know that that allows a simple like a different kind of role play, but there is naturally kind of role play that occurs. Gotcha. Yeah. Because you're actually playing senators and representatives and such. Cool. All right, moving right along. Um, so, um, you know what? I think I'm going to skip the third question because I think you just kind of covered it. But um, the fourth, que fourth question is, Josh, what's your superpower uh, as a writer or even beyond writing? Um, I, uh, my superpower as a writer is probably my, my flaw as a human, <laughs> one of my as, as a human, and uh, and that and that's that I think that I have a natural tendency to let people be be who they are. So I have a natural tendency to not judge people. Hmm. And uh, uh, once I get to know them, I judge peep strangers all the time. <laughs> okay. uh, but uh, but like once I get to know people, or or I I try to get to know them. I, I let them off with a lot hmm. um, because I, I, I think I, I, try, I see the, the, the struggling person in a lot of different people, even people who maybe uh, don't deserve such empathy. Hmm. Um, and, uh, and it's not that, yeah, it's, <laughs> I, I think that's, um, it, it gets complicated because then I hate being judged myself. <laughs> And so I think that, that that causes a lot of issues with me personally. Um, but uh, but I do think that that helps in writing and it helps in acting and helps in theater because you just learn to accept her um, as the same as you. That you are. Hmm. I need to be. And, uh, and, uh, and, I, and so I, I think that that helps me a lot in, in writing. So I guess that would, would be a superpower. I think it is. I think Easily it is. Defined. Yeah, I think that is. I mean, that's actually very, I'm really glad that I asked that question because it's fascinating to hear about that and sort of connect the dots between um, kind of that ability and kind of the way that you approach these senator cards. Um, that's a good, good little tidbit of information. Um, okay, so coming down to the very end, um, we'll try to keep this last one really brief. Um, but from your vantage point, what are some of the strongest and weakest points of the product or the project? I mean, if you were going to give like a good, healthy critique, uh, you know, maybe something positive, something negative about the product and the project or the project. Okay. Uh, um, I think that the strongest point of the project for me is something that actually I know that I believe that you've been... In, in, in initially introducing the project, which is actually the maybe eventual future plan to um, link it up to um, to technology and uh, have have the cards do uh, deeper research hmm. um, of each of the characters or each of the agendas, and I think that that's just a really cool part of, of your what I believe was your initial idea. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, because uh, I think that I think that points to something pretty interesting, which is uh, the connection between agendas and senders and people, and um, and I, I like even in the animations of the Kickstarter video, there's these kind of lines pointing from from thing to thing, mm -hmm. and I and I think that that is a good symbol of of uh, what what could potentially happen in in, uh, in your th in a person's thought process when when playing this game and then looking up the senator and looking up uh, how they might connect to certain agendas and such. Uh, so that's yeah that's what I think is maybe the strongest part of the project. Um, and of critiques. Um, I think that that in in researching senators, I sort of wanted to. I think this will come, but I think just initially, uh, 
initially I wanted to research the senators no one knew about. Hmm. I wanted okay. to like I wanted to go to councilmen and uh, you know like beyond beyond the U.S. Congress and and try and like really go deep. Um, hmm. uh, and I I think that was just me not wanting to look into figures I thought I knew. Hmm. Uh, but um, I, I I think that. I think that, that this project shouldn't be scared to, to get a little esoteric. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, and yeah, that's what I would say. Yeah, you know, there I did have some sort of ideas kind of at the beginning of of going really local. Like I was trying to figure out if I should start national and then like when the project reaches a certain size or you know point of success, then try to go local and do just like. Oh, if you enter into this county, you can get a set of cards, and these are, you know, your aldermen and your councilmen and your, you know, senators, and they all, you know, play inside this little ecosystem together. So I do love that idea um, because, you know, you could sell that at, you know, every gas station and just like, you know, deliver the right ones to every gas station and try not to uh, hope the delivery men don't don't screw it up. But anyway, um, we're we're getting really close to the end here, so. Um, is there anything big that you want to add before we we end? Um, I don't think so, no. <laughs> okay, great. Well, again, that's uh, Josh Morrison. He's one of the writer uh, researchers on Special Committee, a tremendous asset to the team. Um, and um, tune in to the next interview. Uh, I think it's happening tomorrow. Well, thanks so much. Bye. All right. Cool.